Welcome back guys. So I just arrived at Finn's house here in Mayan Too Big, like 10 minutes down the road from me. And again, he's got no electricity. <laughs> the whole area, like the whole city, I guess, doesn't have electricity. So what do you do when there's no electricity? You break into your emergency reserve. You get out your 16 tanks and take advantage. So, no electricity, no problem. We'll just get under the water. Hmm? Critter hunter. Fail, oh fail, your house is so hot. Hey, Finn! Yeah. I think it's time to go diving. Nothing has to do, man. We're sweating our balls off. We gotta go diving. Even when we're not sweating our balls off, we gotta go diving. Yeah, but now it's an emergency. Now, now we have to. Yeah. All right, so wait, wait. Are we going in front of your house? Yeah, I think we should. Should be a mild, very mild current. I saw a couple of new species last night. Oh, uh, okay, so. Yeah. Definitely new criticism. Less, the typography has completely changed. So yesterday wow. I was sick. It was the first time he went diving without me since he got here, probably. Ah, no, I've done it a bunch of times. Really? Yes. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> Sometimes you're out over there, I go down here. I don't even like you anyway. <laughs> well, he found a but it's, it looks completely different than the last time we went. You'll see, like, it, like usually it's just muck, sand, now it's full of uh, some vegetation, a lot of new what? rubbish, rubble. How is it even possible? I know. We haven't been there for like over a month, so. it's It was our much. favorite spot anyway. It is. But now if it's like critter season or something then I think it is man. We don't have to drive anywhere. Uh can't even get a hold of our Alex or Jeffy or guide, so I guess we'll just go jump in the water. Do it. Well you know it's gonna be a good day when the first critter you see is this weird little nudie brain that's hanging out on the side of a stinging hydroid. Now this guy is super hard to film. I mean, you could just imagine how small this is. The nudie itself is probably about six millimeters and it's blending in pretty good, so it's hard to find. Here's a little close-up shot of it and you can see he's quite cool looking and blends in really well. Plus, nobody really wants to go near the stinging hydroid. So this is an awesome new species for Project Nudie Break, one that I've never seen before. And I'm really glad we finally got to find one. So now that I'm looking in my book, there's actually quite a few different nudibranch species that live on these stinging hydroids. So it's our goal to find a whole bunch of them. Now on this dive, we actually found two. I'm gonna show you the next one in a second. But I think it's just an awesome goal to have nudibranch to specifically look for and then find it. It just makes it that much more satisfying. I spent way too much time filming this guy because it's one of the most unique nudies we found in a while. And here's a different angle. And then here's the other species we found. Now, I didn't know this was another species. I mean, they're so tiny, I can't really tell by looking at it until I looked at the footage later on my computer. So this is a whole other species on a whole different stinging hydroid, but really close by. I assumed it was the same one, but no, it's completely different as you can see here. His whole body blends in with the stem of the stinging hydroid. Yeah, and it's just another unique species and another new one that we've never seen before. Dives like this where I get to find something new is just amazing. I love this stuff. As you can see, it's really hard to focus on something that small that's also flapping in the current, but I managed okay. You can at least see what it looks like. Next up, at about 20 meters deep, we ran into this dead log, and on top of there, Finn found two tiger shrimp. And more specifically, I think they're called spiny tiger shrimp. And these guys are so cool. We've only seen them one other time ever. This is the second time. And the 
this one right here is a lot bigger than the other one. I think maybe it's the female and it has eggs there under underneath. Either way, it's really cool to find these guys. They're really hard to find. I'm not sure if there's a season or what, but it's definitely something we don't see very often. And here, they finally kind of came together. You can see the second one climbing up. A much smaller little guy. And I was trying to get him in the same shot. Finn filmed him quite a bit as well, so I think he got some great shots of these guys. Hopefully together, I don't know. But either way, I'm just glad we got to film him at all. It was a little bit deep, so we didn't get to spend a whole lot of time with them, but still, cool little spot to see him right in front of Finn's house. So we were actually kind of surprised to find him on this dead log, because the other times we've seen him, and plus other people that have found him, have told us that they usually found on those little churro sponges. So this was totally different today. Here's a shot of the littler guy. <laughs> it was kind of hard to get them together the whole time. They like to move around and stuff. But this guy's pretty cute. Nearby, there was another new species of Lady Break. Now this guy is really cool. And I think you're going to see this in a lot of upcoming episodes. I don't know. Maybe it's a new season or what. But all of a sudden, we're starting to see him a lot. And this guy was the first. So, it's another species for the book. And, yeah, I haven't identified it yet. There's so many similar species that it's hard to identify what's what. But this is still a really cool find. He had some really, really long antennas up front. And they like to flop around. This is actually in slow motion because they were just moving around really rapidly. Like searching out the area or doing whatever. Maybe it's a Wi-Fi antenna. I don't know. But it's pretty cute. Size wise, this isn't the smallest nudie. That's for sure. It was probably about a centimeter long. Maybe a little smaller. Uh, not too tiny. Pretty good size for my camera. Decent shot. I'm trying to get a lot of different angles here, but the only reason it's a little hard to film is because the light kind of reflects off that white and it's hard to get a lot of detail. But here's another one, same dive, same species I'm pretty sure, but a lot smaller one. And you can see a little bit more detail, I don't know why, maybe I just had a better angle or I don't know what's going on, but he's pretty cool, you can see a little bit more details. Those front rhinophore things, those are they look like eyes on an alien, but they're not. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. Let's go find some more critters tomorrow. Holy moly, how about that dive? Wow, definitely a new critter season. Three new species. Nudibranchs we've never seen before. Two tigers shaped like this. This is this is scuba diving, guys. Oh my goodness. No guide even, just us. Imagine if we had a guide, how much we would have found. We tried to call Alex and Jeff. Yeah, everybody's busy. It's brown, not no electricity. <laughs> yeah, but the whole site is how I remembered it like a year ago with, I remember on one dive here, I would see like 20 candy crabs. And now I didn't see any since you got here, but today all the candy crab houses, I don't know what they're called, but. Just a uh, soft call. Yeah, these soft coral things are yeah. everywhere. They weren't there a month ago, remember? Yeah, yeah. The I know houses, there's... We looked in every single house, but no... But I, I bet within like a couple of weeks, we're gonna see... Yeah, they're just gonna there. show up now, I guess. Yeah. It's so strange trying to figure out the critter seasons. And now, today, we didn't see the normal nudies that we always see. We saw a whole different set, so it's like... It's so hard to figure out, but it's so awesome. Every so dive is no like a... no common nudie today. Yeah. Only three super rare species we've never seen before yeah you guys just saw it ones i've been looking for well, yeah the ones i've been looking for are the hydroids and then the white ones i didn't even know existed uh they're either flabellina or facelina some kind of weird one that i don't have uh and then actually this is the first time i didn't find anything finn saw everything <laughs> was calling me over and while i filmed that he found the next thing so i didn't even have time Crazy. he found all the rare stuff 
Including the tiger strip, I forgot about that. Yeah, massive ones. But I, what, I, what I think now is, we talked to a bunch of people, of course, we're living here, we talked to people, and yeah, we people know, of course, there's proper season, octopus season, but we have heard sometimes critter season. Yeah. And apparently, that's something that might be starting now, August, September. So, we're looking forward to this season. <laughs> We're gonna start doing a lot more night dives because the whole topography looked Can different. Can you imagine this place at night? We gotta, it's gonna be insane. gonna wait for the right tides because this is one of the toughest dive sets in Darwin. Super cool. Even the beach looks different. It's all sandy and uh, nice. And I think all these new hard and soft corals just popped up. And it's like a bunch of hiding spots for critters, I guess. Uh, it's yeah. gonna be awesome. We got three dives tomorrow down at Chateau where we don't go very often maybe that's different now as well it's gotta be <laughs> it's gonna be an awesome one so yeah awesome awesome dive three new loony species tiger shrimp good day yeah uh. awesome <laughs> see you guys tomorrow <laughs>